We're on, right? Yeah, we're on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're on, okay. <laughs> it's like a whack me in the face. I will. Okay, just go, just go. Just go. Okay. Hey, everyone. This is Blair Frostfire signing on for the second time ever. Yay! Yay! <laughs> this is my... Vigilita. <laughs> <laughs> Ranger. <laughs> I know it's a girl right now. Huh? I said I know it's a girl right now. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> you know, this is supposed to be going seriously, not a full on laugh fest. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, um, so today I have a Ruby Theory. Um, this is one I've had for a good while, ever since... Not first aired? What? Since first aired? No, <laughs> th this... Ever since we first found out about the Seasonal Maidens. Although it actually started right whenever Ozpin was saying he felt Kira was the one they needed for something, and he felt it the moment he met her. Now, I'm probably not the only one who thought, oh, it's not really Pyrrha, it's Ruby. And then you bring the Seasonal Maidens in, and he starts explaining that he thinks she is supposed to be the next Fall Maiden. That got me a little confused. And then, as it progressed, I noticed a few, not exactly flaws, but things I felt were... I haven't got past season two, so this is all you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he just started, sadly. I've only seen season one and almost half of season two. Yeah. What? N nothing. You just need to play catch up really badly. <laughs> um. I, honestly, I've seen I've I've, I've seen trailers for Ruby Chibi and I like I like I like Ruby Chibi is awesome. Okay. Epic, awesome, adorable. But <laughs> I, I know it's adorable. My, ba back to my theory. I, I know okay. it's adorable, but I like the original series better because it, it, it feels more realistic. It, it is, but yeah. it's supposed to be a goofy little comedy. Yeah. Anyway, back to my theory. And please stop interrupting or I will go get my pink zebra colored, my pink zebra print duct tape and tape it over your mouth. And you know I will. You know I will. Okay, and also just to let you know, we only have 44 minutes of footage. Are you kidding me? The bad. Okay. It's only four gigabytes. What do you think? Do you want me to flick you in the ear? No. Then shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. So back to my theory. I was really confused with why Ruby wasn't Ozpin's chosen one, and then as it progressed, I noticed a few things. Okay. Pyrrha was to be the fall or autumn maiden. Why wouldn't Ozpin choose Ruby? And then looking through the series, it kind of clicked in my head, what if there was a bigger reason than Ruby just being a silver-eyed warrior to why she couldn't become a seasonal maiden? You need to play catch up, so just bear with me. Ruby's already one of the maidens. She's the Summer Maiden. That is my theory. And I have some pretty good things to go with that. Hold I it. I see what you're getting at. Yes, no, please stop. Okay, one, Ruby Rose. That's her name. Ruby is the July birthstone. July is summer, at least in America. Yeah. Rose. Those flowers are actually commonly afflicted with both summer and spring depending on color. If I remember correctly, red roses are often represented with summer and love. The later really doesn't have anything to do with my theory. And then there's another thing I noticed. Ruby, rare, Ruby wears a hooded cloak. Her mother wore a hooded cloak. And I'm thinking her mom might have been the former summer maiden. Plus her name is Summer Rose. Now getting back to the cloak thing. When we not it's not the actual first time we see Amber, who was the former Fall Maiden. But, when we finally get to see Cinder's background and how Amber got
got into the state she was, what was the biggest thing we noticed before we saw her face? A hooded cloak. The seasonal maidens need to stay hidden. That's where the cloak comes in. We see that even as a little girl, Ruby wore the cloak. Okay, what if that was because her mom knew that when she died, Ruby would be the next maiden. She was going to make sure her daughter was the next maiden. She knew there was something special. Now, Ruby and her mom both have silver eyes, which means they kind of possess magic already. Because they're kind of like grim trainers if you were in How to Train Your... Uh, Put the grim in How to Train Your Dragon. Uh, Play tech up with Ruby, okay? That's all I'm getting at. something that's confusing me. Her mother's cloak is white. Ruby's is red. The cloak color doesn't have anything to do with it. Their identities were hidden. That's the main thing. Because I actually originally thought that her mother would have been the winter maiden. Because no, the white cloak. Amber's cloak was green. Okay, how does that re- I mean, okay, no, no, that's a bad question because when green is related to grass. But yeah. here's another thing that I noticed. Amber is a shade of an orangish red. It's also commonly afflicted with fall. Pira True. actually means fire, and I think was the name of a certain goddess of fire in one of the mythologies. Yeah, I think. Fall is often afflicted with fire, as well as summer. Now, wind and fire are the things most afflicted with fall. Amber's name kind of brings up into fall. Pira meaning fire. Fire. So, that's kind of how Pira fits in. Now, I did see this one video. I don't remember who it's by. Um, but it, had, it was about, did Ozpin indirectly kill Pira? Because it's a really neat video. When I find the link, I will link it. Scotty, stop before anything else happened. She died. Yes. Now, please, please be quiet. <laughs> okay. So, now I'm making some key points in my opinion. And when Ruby saw Pira die, she screamed everything turned white it was all glitchy i think even cinder actually disintegrated but i can't tell that was so unclear like what all happened all we know is that there's a giant dragon like grim frozen up at beacon okay now i don't want to watch the series anymore scotty please just do me a favor watch it okay i know season three got really dark but it, it does have a lot of key parts in it and my friend Ruby, oh yeah, I need to like send her links to the show. That's getting off topic. <laughs> yeah. Um. Remember never to do a theory with you about Ruby? Scotty. Shut up, phone. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. So that. Uh, I literally lost my train of thought. Okay. Um. I listed why. I felt Pyrrha was connected to Amber. Their names both have something to do with autumn or fall. Then there's another thing I noticed. Eh, wait, well, I, I literally forgot now. Um, now, we know that there's never a set weapon with the seasonal maidens. In fact, when they first came into existence, they didn't have weapons at all. They weren't huntresses or huntsmen. I think this was before Grimm became a problem. Before, you know, huntsmen and huntresses had to come out. When they were just starting to be created and they weren't a big deal. So, they never had weapons in the first place. And now, as huntsmen and huntresses, they kind of do. Now, I don't remember if Summer ever had a weapon. I do know one thing. Ruby's weapon is a scythe that can turn into a gun. 
Sniper rifle. Close enough. <laughs> it's a type of gun, so I'm yeah. close enough. Yeah, she's close enough. I know more about weapons than she does. That's because I'm the one who wants to stay out of the army and you're the one obsessed with getting one. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh. Anyway, this, it, Ospin stated that the scythes are the hardest weapon to master. Yeah, she was easy to pick. Yeah, it, granted her uncle was a great scythe wielder, one of the best of his kind, but she also didn't seem to feel real connected to people, more connected to her weapon. And I kind of, I, I kind of get that. I'm like antisocial and a social bug at the same time. Like if, yeah. I'm, if I'm online, you cannot get me to shut up. If you're a close friend of mine, you can't get me to shut up. You meet me in real life for the first time, I'm like, uh, hi, what do you like so I can know if I need to go run back to my room? <laughs> even at family con even at family meetings, she can never shut up. They're family, they don't count. <laughs> Screw you. Please tell me you didn't flip me off. I, I, I didn't! Okay, because I didn't see your hand. I'm like, wait, wait, did he just go like that or did he flip me off? <laughs> anyway, um... Now, that's getting back to the cloak thing. They need to keep their identity a secret. They probably would feel antisocial to begin with, or once they got their power, they kind of wean towards antisocial. Kind of knowing, hey, there's something about me. I don't know what it is yet. Oh, shoot. I, I'm good. I'm did good. you almost fall in the tub? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> They, they'd probably notice, hey, something's wrong. I need to back up some... There's something going on I don't know about yet, but I know it's something that needs to stay a secret, something I need to figure out on my own before I can go back. Why are... Never mind. Um, but... The camera's off. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Nah, it's looking at... It's at an odd ankle. Yeah. Um, I can fix it if you want. Scotty? Okay. I'll now, fix it for the next video. We did see Amber was kind of standoffish. She only, she literally only seemed to stop for the Emerald when she thought she was a little girl. Bear this up for we have to talk about this up soon. Okay. You know, if you wouldn't have caused all this laughter, this would be done by now. Sorry. Amber seemed to know, I need to stay wary. Now, the thing that got me was, yeah, she saw a little girl crying. But at the same time, I'm just, we all knew it was a trap. But if I see a little kid crying all by themselves, in somewhere where you would think there would be an adult. Granted, this isn't remnant and people can't just make illusions of that, but I would still be kind of wary, like, what is this kid doing alone? Why are they here? Okay? And she either had a wagon or a bike. And you could tell from the path she was on, there were probably no close houses. Little kid, wagon or bike, what are they doing out that far? And if this was a remnant, I would be wary because I know, hey, there are people with weird semblances. What if this is a trick? Whereas Amber, she really didn't even seem to think, oh, hey, you know, this might not, this might be a trap. Granny, she probably didn't even think that someone would set up a trash party and think anyone knew about the seasonal maidens, I would still be wary though. She literally goes, gets off her horse, you see her grab seed, she tucks it under her cloak, gives it to the little girl, it's an apple, when you clearly saw wasn't there to begin with. Granted, the kid probably wouldn't have seen it. If it really had been a kid. Sorry, my phone's going like crazy. Now, Pira, I could tell she was really similar to that, which could have led to her downfall. Well, actually, kind of did. Getting off topic, their personalities were pretty similar, too, at least from what we could see. And, 
know, Ruby was pretty similar too. She wanted nothing more than to help people. Her mom probably knew that because Ruby stated since she was little, she wanted nothing more than to be a huntress and help people. When her mom died, if, 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 if she was the Summer Maiden, which I am seriously sure she was. Well, she didn't die. No, it was confirmed by Monty Owen that she actually did. did. Oh. When she died, she was probably thinking of Ruby and how much she knew her daughter wanted to help people and how perfect she would be to be a seasonal maiden. Okay? And it would make sense that her uncle would want to teach her how to wield a scythe knowing, hey, she's a maiden. You know, something bad could happen. People could find out she needs to know how to defend herself. And the scythe is one of the hardest weapons to master, but also one of the most beneficial, and it can turn into a gun or sniper rifle, as he said. Okay? That's highly protective for a seasonal maiden. And if they know how to use it, that's even better. Okay? I think I'm making fair points here. I'm going to wrap it up. I will have another better video posted another time, but this is like kind of rough draft. I think you get the idea. I think I made some pretty solid points, though. Yeah, you did. Also, now I gotta rethink my entire, um, like, like I've been thinking of, like... A Ruby theory, and yes... No, not theory, like, um, fan thing? Whatever. Like, whatever it's called, like, I've been thinking of, like, some sort of fan thing, like, um... Oh, uh, Like, um, uh... Fan friction? Yeah, that. Yeah, okay, so he needs to rethink <laughs> that. Uh, uh, so somehow I, me and my friend Hayden will bring her back to life. Yeah. To what, Pira? Yes! <laughs> Don't worry, it's on my fan fiction. She has come back to life, so yeah, like, relax, I, relax. Me and my friend Hayden are supposed to be like rangers, and we come from at the Earth. Like, Ow! Sorry, everyone uh, finger. Okay, okay, you know what? We will talk, we will... Talk about this later. In my after video. My, video. Okay. After my theory video. Yeah, after his, okay? <laughs> so, I will have another video where he isn't interrupting every ten seconds. Sorry. <laughs> um, but... The next video we're going to be doing is on my channel, though. Yeah, I, I know. Okay. But don't forget to check out me. Links yeah. are down below. Yeah. So, boop, boop. if you guys liked it, like it. If you want to see more of my theories and what I'm going to be doing once I remember how to use MMD. <laughs> um, Christy, if you're watching, please come down to my house and help me. <laughs> and Christy, if you're watching, can you think of like, a good picture for my profile? <laughs> <laughs> Like it, I honestly don't care. I thought my I thought my first video was really crappy. I disliked it myself, so don't feel bad. <laughs> um, but if you want to subscribe and see what I have upcoming next, because I will be getting more videos off post more often, I promise this time. You can subscribe. Um, so that's all for right now. So this is Samantha. Yeah, Samantha, that's my <laughs> fan fiction. This is Blair hey, Frost Fire. Okay, okay. Scotty. Um, no, Betsy. If you want to check out the video I'll be posting on my channel, link will be in the description down below. And continue. So, this is Flare Frostfire signing out. Peace out, everybody, and I will see you uh, next time. Bye! Okay, gotta turn off the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! <laughs>